Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be analyzing whether or not you should be delaying for your plan. Prior to No Step Back, the conventional wisdom was you would stop off and get treaty with the USSR before for your plan, which would result in you going Rhineland, treaty with the USSR, for your plan. This would allow you with some tech juggling to get to disperse two before you finished for your plan. And then you could use the bonuses on 1939-1941 tech, either production efficiency cap or dispersed for extra factory slots. Or you could just do 1939 of each, you know, depending on what you wanted to do. But since No Step Back came out, Germany has a lot more 80% slots than it did before. So you don't necessarily need to rush for dispersed three and four anymore. So the question is, should you? Because the alternative is just going Rhineland straight into four year plan, going down to get these civilian factories and getting them 140-ish days sooner. And that's what we're gonna test. We're gonna test these two focus orders. We're always gonna start with Rhineland, 120 political power, always worthwhile. Question is, do we go delay four year plan, which is typically doing treaty with the USSR, and then getting the research slot into the Reich's Autobahn, and then we're just gonna ange loose into Sudetenland. It's a the timing's about right for multiplayer. Anschluss will line up pretty well with the war in China. Or do we delay doing treaty with the USSR until after we've gotten the Reichsautobahn? Now you'll notice I do say you need to delay for your plan by up to 20 days. And I'll show you when, when I demonstrate the tech juggling you need to do with the for your plan second focus. So to start the game off, you're going to want to do Rhineland. For both tests, we are going to build max civilian factories outside of the Autobahn area until we have the Autobahn and then we'll build in the Autobahn regions. And then you're going to want to do Electronic Mechanical Engineering, Basic Machine Tools, and Construction 1. Setting up some infantry. I'm just setting up some infantry to automatically deploy so that we can on loose when we need to. Otherwise, this isn't part of the test. The differences in production should be relatively minuscule. We're going to pause the game, and we're going to go until January 30th, and then we're going to tech joke. So it's January 30th. We have 30 days saved up. We're going to swap Electronic Mechanical Computing to Smoke Generators. And then we're going to do this. Now, why Smoke Generators? It is the shortest tech I can find. We need this research slot freed up, and as far as I can tell, there is not a shorter tech in the game, and we need this research slot freed up so that we can start saving up more days of research. So the Rhineland should about the same day as electronic mechanical engineering does. With our first political power expenditure, we're actually going to go to free trade. With this, we're going to get 9% research speed and 10% factory output and 10% construction speed. That's actually really big, especially in multiplayer where you can trade back so that trading for resources doesn't actually cost you anything. And it's gonna speed up our research, which is important. So this is 114 days off. So we need to delay doing four year plan by 15 days because we need four year plan to finish the day before this finishes. If you're playing in multiplayer, you're gonna probably wanna delay about 20 days. Doing this allows you to start construction two before you finish four year plan. The alternative is you just don't delay and then you just do construction two after you've used the research bonus on disperse two. Those are your options. I think it's worthwhile to delay. It also messes up the timing of the British player because you're going to be 20 days behind them. That's what we're going to do. We're going to delay for an extra 15 days past March 21st. So I think this is actually 17 or 18 days. It gives us a little bit of breathing room. Now we're, now we're going to select for your plan. Now smoke generators is done and we've saved up 30 days. So we're going to swap basic machine tools to mechanical computing temporarily. And then we're going to finish basic machine tools. And now we're going to save up 30 days here. That's why we need to do smoke generators, because we needed this to save up days. Once basic machine tools is done, we will move on to dispersed one. And improve machine tools. So now we're waiting for these 30 days to get saved up. We have 150 political power. We are actually going to sit on this political power just temporarily. So with our 30 days now saved up, we can switch construction one to mechanical computing. And then we can put these 30 days into construction one. And that's 26 days and I have done the math correctly because that's 27. So this should finish one day after. Okay, so construction one is done and we actually have one day before your plan. Now we can go into construction two, so we're not wasting the boost there. And then for your plan finishes and we can continue on to autocarchy and we're gonna do the focus order I just said. Now we're gonna continue on for a little bit longer before we just jump to the results because I'm gonna go over the, the political power order that I did. So I went free trade, the captain of industry guy, and then as we kept going, I'm gonna send an attache to Spain. And what this means is by the end of September, you're gonna be on free trade, war economy, and you'll have the captain of industry. Okay, so there's the Spanish civil war. We are going to need to improve relations with Spain until we're over 20, we're probably gonna to wanna to get to about 25. Now sending volunteers will also improve relations with them. I'm not gonna bother with that. That's high enough, we're gonna stop. You might wanna delay sending the attache until you have 250 political power, just so you don't get the event where they protest your attache and you lose political power. 
So the benefit of sending an attache is you get to have the civilian industry act because going Goebbels into war economy is 25 less political power than appointing this guy and sending an attache and going to war economy. We're going to send the attache, they're going to accept, and we're going to go to war economy. And other than appointing Martin Vorman next, this is all the political power I spent. Now let's jump to the actual results because I have two saves both on July 8th, 1938. Let's start with the traditional way. So we stopped at the fate of Czechoslovakia event, so the Czech industry doesn't mess with the results. And this is what we have. We have 112 civilian factories, well, 113, one finishes literally tomorrow. And then if you add up all of the percents towards completion, we have put forward 1.81 additional civilian factories worth of production towards these. So we can effectively say that for four year plan, fourth focus, we have number of sieves 113 plus partials 1.81 because that's what that adds up to and if we check we no longer have the captain of industry because we've done demand state and land but we've done everything else the same way so this would be going rhineland into army innovations treaty with the ussr and then and then doing four-year plan and doing it this way we have finished disperse three and advanced machine tools i prefer to do both of these rather than hard rushing dispersed four now let's go to the other save or four-year plan second focus so the first thing to note, we're not quite done Disperse 3. You're going to get Disperse 3 about 100-ish days later if you don't do 4-year plan 4th. And we have the same setup here. We are actually 11 days from finishing Fate of Czechoslovakia. You're going to be somewhere between 10 and 20 days from finishing Fate of Czechoslovakia, depending on how much leeway you gave yourself. And construction-wise, we have 121 factories. And if we add up all of these percents, you get 3.71. So we actually have 121 factories plus 3.71 partials. And if you do the math, if you add the partial completion to the number of sieves, that is 121 plus 3.71 divided by 113 plus 1.81, that is 8.6% more factories by not delaying for your plan so 8.6 percent more factories by not delaying for your plan more than 20 days versus delaying it 140 days and that's because of these two focuses right here giving you 12 civilian factories you're getting 12 civilian factories 140 days earlier and i have not actually run out of slots yet I haven't used these slots just to represent that you're going to save them for synthetic refineries, but I haven't actually quite run out of slots yet, and I'm about to get Disperse 3. So you don't need to rush Disperse 3 anymore, because I'm still only building in slots that are 80% or higher. Now, this is cutting it close, don't get me wrong, but you don't need to rush Disperse 3 anymore, or Disperse 4. There is no benefit to it. It's actually detrimental to you. It was likely detrimental to you the entire time. Anyways, this is just a quick little test on whether or not you should delay for your plan. And the answer is no, you shouldn't. It does not make sense to delay for your plan. And honestly, you don't have to delay these 20 days. 